Here's how to take the best photo for your mask-alike face mask. Make sure your glasses are off. The mask will turn out better with natural light since it will match your skin tone closer. Notice that one side of my face has a shadow on it? Well, that might show up on the mask. So I'm gonna find a better position by rotating around the room to find the most even possible lighting. Avoid taking the photo right next to a window since the mask will turn out too bright on one side and too dark on the other. If you see bright highlights or shadows, they might show up on the mask. Again, keep rotating so both sides of your face are evenly lit. Using indoor lighting causes harsh shadows. Avoid lamps and warm light bulbs, which can make your skin look too saturated. Avoid bluish light, which might make your skin look too blue. If one side of your face is bright and the other side of your face is in the shadows, it won't turn out as good as it could. Taking the photo outside will work too. Again, make sure you're evenly lit and there's no shadows on your face. Avoid taking the picture too close. No downward angles, no upward angles. Try to stay eye level and centered. When you find even lighting and your face is centered, have fun with your facial expression. Here's an example photo that will work well with the masks. You can see my face is evenly lit and my camera is eye level. If you have a question about your photo, you can email us at hello at maskalike.com.